Hello everyone, this is Himanshu and a lot of you might be going to colleges soon and most of you have this doubt that what programming language should we learn at first like should we learn C, C++, Python, Java and all that and most of you have this doubt and I was getting a lot of DMs on Instagram as well so I would be telling that what language you should learn or you can learn before going to college and that might be beneficial for you as well before you're going to college so if you're interested please continue watching. And also I'll be telling that what sources you can just use to learn these languages in an easy way so that you can just excel in your college as well and you can just and you know you can just build up the skills as well using these courses or and all the sources that I will be telling are completely free so you don't have to pay anything in order to learn the languages from them so so you might want to check it out if you want to learn any programming language so without further ado let's just start. And also this video is not just for students who are going to computer science or computer related branches so you can just watch this video if you are from any branch because basically computer languages and basically programming is a very necessary skill these days so basically all of the people whether they are from computer branch or any other branch just learn the computer hardware and software while they're in college so you might want to check it out. So that's why no matter what your branch is but you should learn programming language because Bill Gates has also said that learning to program or basically learning to code teaches you how to think. So basically when I was going to college I was having this huge dilemma like what programming language should I learn and basically I didn't get much time because our college started in between of entrance exams like Bitset and J Advanced as well so, so we didn't get any free time after our mains or basically entrance exams and but I was having some idea about programming languages like I just knew the names like Python, C++, basically C and from most of the places I just thought that Python is the best language because it's the most advanced and basically it's widely used everywhere so basically I thought that Python will be best language to learn and I also thought that our college will also teach us Python so but it didn't happen and our college just started teaching us C language because it's a basic language and I, and I used to think that why are they teaching us C language they should teach us Python but, but actually they were right because C language is just a basic language and basically everyone should learn the C language because when we are going to programming there are some things that you should know while you are beginning to code and basically python just skips many things in that and basically it just makes things easier for you and basically and it just skips various concepts which are necessary to learn if you are a beginner in coding so that's why C is the best language when you are starting to code you can just learn other languages as well basically if you don't want to learn C you can just learn Java as well but basically most of the colleges don't just teach Java in the first year they just teach C or C++ in the first years and some of the colleges also teach Python but but they also include all the necessary stuff so, so basically C is the basic language that you should learn while you're going to college and you can just move to C++ and you can just go to Python and Java as well if you have time so it's completely your choice but you should just start with C and eventually when you're done with C you can just move to C++ or you can just move to Python as well if your college teaches that and and you can just move to Python as well if you want but most of the colleges I think they just teach C and C++ only in the first year and and later on they just move to Python for topics like AI and machine learning so you can just choose whatever you want so these are the basic things like if you are a beginner in coding you should learn C language first and you can just eventually move to C++ or Python or you can just move to Java as well you can just learn Java as well as your first language but it's completely your choice you can just learn C or Java but most probably C might be better because it might help you in college course as well and that's how you might get benefit from both of the sites so yeah that's it now now let me show you the resources from where you can just learn these languages with a lot of enjoyment and let's just start and let's just go to the laptop okay now let's just go to the youtube first so first of all for learning c language i would suggest there is a channel called code with harry so you can just type code with harry C language so there is this video which is around 15 hours long and, and for learning C language this video is just great it will help you a lot in your college course and if your college teaches C language first this video will be just amazing and it might help you in exams a lot 
and basically i also saw this video while our exams are going on for first semester and it was very beneficial for us and it's just great the teacher is great and basically he just explains in a very clear cut way so you can just enjoy learning this language from this video and basically if you want to learn any part of the language you can see that there are also timestamps given and during the exams i just use these timestamps only because time was less so basically i just saw some topics and it was great so you can just learn c language a lot by using this video and it was for c language and and basically for learning c++ as well you can just use this channel only basically for c++ he has made a playlist so there are various videos you can just see and in c++ you might also be taught object oriented programming so everything is just there in this playlist you can just see this video basically you can just see all the videos if you want in order and yeah that's it for the c++ language and and this is also great if you are having this C++ language in a college so you can just learn a lot by using these videos and this was for C and C++ for Java as well I would recommend you can just learn Java from this channel only and you can just see that and you can just see he has a Java playlist as well so you can just learn a full Java language from this and basically all the things are free so yeah that's one of our favorite youtubers so basically he's one of the favorite persons for all our college students because he just helps us a lot and yeah, that's it for the c c++ and java and for learning python you can just learn from this channel only you can just type python and i think there is a one big video for python as well mm, yes there is a big video around 11 hours 52 minutes long so you can just learn python as well and all these tutorials are in Hindi so you might not face any language barrier because some of the students they don't face language barrier but they are much comfortable by learning in Hindi so that's why most of the people refer this channel for learning languages in Hindi and that's it and if you want to learn Python you can just take a course on Coursera as well so this is Coursera and basically if you don't know about Coursera I'll make a video for that as well basically Coursera is a website or you can just say companies that provide online courses to students in various fields and you can just get the certificate as well after completing the course and you can just show that certificate on your LinkedIn profile as well and it also offers specialization courses and basically it also offers degree programs in online mode so you can just check it out if you want and let's just log in so basically i have logged in from my thapar university account basically they just give you an email id when you're going to college you will be getting an email id associated with college basically dot edu email and you can just log into coursera for getting some free courses as well if your university allows and you can there are ways you can just get free courses on coursera and i will be making a video on that as well so basically this is the course that i was talking about and i just recently completed it and you can just click on it so basically this is the course programming for everybody getting started with python so basically if you just don't know anything about programming and you just want to get started you can just see this course as well and you might be able to complete it within a week so it's not just a big course you can just look at it and these are easy topics and and if you are familiar with some of the languages like c you can just complete this course in three or four days or maybe less so it's not much big so you can just start it you can just so you can just do it if you want and i just recently completed it so i might show so i can just show you my certificate as well that i got after completion so you can just see that i completed this course and basically this is the certificate that they give you and it was offered by university of michigan in usa so you might get a university name on the certificate as well which just looks quite cool if you're doing it for the first time so this is the certificate that you get after completing the course and you can just download the certificate or you can just share the certificate and you can just put it on the linkedin profile as well so yeah that's it for the python language and so if you want to learn c language in english there is a great resource on youtube you can just type cs50 c language so basically CS50 is a free course that is provided by Harvard University in USA and they just upload the lectures whatever they teach at the Harvard University. So you can just look at the lectures of Harvard University and at platforms like edX you can just join the course as well and 
and after completing the course you can just get the certificate from harvard university as well after paying some fees so you can just see and basically you can just see that there are two playlists 2019 and 2020 basically 2019 was offline of course and 2020 was online so basically 2020 lectures are quite big so i would recommend if you can just see you can just see the 2019's one so if you want you can just see 2019 lectures both are similar and basically there is not much difference and the teacher is same basically in 2020 the lectures were online so basically so basically lectures are quite bigger because of online college and all the doubts in online college you can just see that there are some network issues with students and all that you can just see because of that only the lectures are quite big so 2019 lectures of cs 50 so you can just see these are the videos so these are sequential so you can just learn and the professor is very enthusiastic so you won't be getting any bored in this lecture so you won't be getting bored in this lecture and basically you won't be able to just see these lectures by increasing the speed because professor just teaches with so much enthusiasm that you won't be getting any reason to speed up the lectures and you can just watch them you can just see that these are the lectures and after C, they just teach Python language and this SQL and all these languages. So basically, they work in Python mostly after teaching the C language. So, so basically, you can just learn the basics of Python and SQL language as well by these lectures. And these are just informative lectures, and these are great lectures you want to see. And these are great lectures, so you should just give it a try if you're coming to college. So, so even when I was going to college, our seniors recommended this course. So you can just see if you want, and that's it basically these are the courses that are there for learning programming and you might enjoy a lot if you have some interest you can just check out these courses and basically this is the best youtube channel if you want to just learn any programming like any language if you want to learn so code with harry is the so code with harry is the best channel for learning coding in hindi so you can just check it out and you can just check out some other courses on Coursera as well there are, there are tons of courses so you can just check out but these are the main courses that I just told you and I hope this video helps you if you are going to college in just deciding what programming languages you should be starting with and, and if you found this video useful do subscribe and like the channel basically like the video and subscribe the channel and if you have any doubts or suggestions you can just comment down in the comment section and you can just jam in on Instagram as well and yeah, that's it for the video and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.